Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to this new Clip Studio Paint tutorial. I know it's been a while, I have been a bit silent, but today we're completely back with a new video. And this time we are focusing on the color panel. Now the color panels in Clip Studio Paint are extremely powerful, in my opinion. They have a variety of tools available that you can use, a variety of color, different color panels that you can use. You can choose your own, you can choose your favorite. It's basically like that. And that's what I really appreciate from this program, that it's up to you which one you want to use. So in this little video, I am actually going to show you how I do that. So at first we're going to see the color wheel, which is what I'm playing with, as you can see. Then we're going to see the, the sliders, which are very commonly used. Then we have a color panel, which has different sets from standard to additional to all types of sets, bright tones. And to show you an example of how that works, I'm actually going to show you in this video, as you can see. Here I'm using a very black color and then I'm going over it with just a brush, a random brush. And I start to paint in these super bright tone colors. Then I'm going into dark grayish, uh, grayish and it goes into these dark colors, which I absolutely love working with for environments or anything else. Then they have a variety and I have a couple that I installed myself that I got from the amazing material library and i'll get to that in one of the coming videos how that all works and how you can get some of your own stuff on there and how to use them so the next panel is basically one that when you pick a color you can basically set it as your main color and you can get like different tones the same as this one it works with darks and shadows so you can actually pump up your colors as well then we have a lot of colors here showing this is basically i think the color panel that shows all of the colors that i um, basically use or have used in the past and they're all located here and each time i pick another color it shows up again and that is coming handy when you are getting more into it it will come back you can use it again and that's it so short video but i hope it's at least was still very um useful and to add to this i'm gonna get a speed painting in that will show a lot of the colors in how they will mix together because we have used the brushes in one of our earlier videos and i thought you know what Let's get into it and let's show you how these brushes actually work. So enjoy this little speed painting.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next, which means we're gonna be diving, as I mentioned, into the 3D poses. I'll see you then and be sure to check out my Twitch. It's all in the description. See you guys then. Bye.